Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. My name is Pastor Yemi Omoboyega. Thanks for patronizing our channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Pass your comments, like our videos, then press the notification button so that you get to know when we upload new videos. At the same time, please share our videos. I want to talk on the topic there is no repentance in your old age or let me put it this way nature will not forgive you when you are old nature will not forgive you when you are old You see, um, this message is for all, especially those of us who are religious. And those who are not religious, it is also for you. I did a video yesterday or so, or a few days back. I said, life is blunt, brutish, and short. I want to add to my narratives on that video that you must do everything you can when you are able to do what you should do to make heaven and to succeed, to have good success in this world. And to everything, time is attached. And what I'm about to tell you now is that... <coughs> If you fail to do what you ought to do when you see the word word the word I used when that is the time when you have the ability and capability to do it when you get to a stage in your life especially your old age which begins from 50 years and above if you fail to do what you should do before your 50 to prepare for your 50 something to the rest of your life, nature will not forgive you. You will pay dearly for it. Therefore, I summed life to three categories. The nature aspect, you come to the world and you start living. Then the second aspect is the nurture aspect. This period is the period you are doing everything to fend for yourselves, to feed yourself, to take care of yourself today. You pursue your career, you pursue your academics, you, you know, you just, then you commit to the work of God and you are just doing everything to make your tomorrow better. And the third stage is the maintenance stage. I want to tell you, after 50 years of age, maintenance is what is left for you. Maintenance is what is left for you. I narrated an example in my one of my videos. I don't know whether I ever posted it or not. I did say that one day I woke up, by that time I was 60 years old, between 60 and 63. That was the period that I experienced the harshest moments of my life since I was young. Yes, when I was young, I had this sinusitis, which I had operated upon four times, and yet it wasn't going, not until one day someone prescribed, one doctor prescribed a particular tiny medication for me, 
which I have been using to manage it, and ever since then, I have not been overpowered by sinuses again. I give glory to God. Because I tell you that in a year that I was breathing with my nostrils was not more than 30 days in a year. So the remaining 11 months of the year, I breathe with my mouth. Even from my childhood, even till I was about, um, I was 50 years old. So my survivor is just by the special grace of God. Yet I wasn't asthmatic. And I was not, I didn't have any other disease other than hyper allergy. I can react to any situation. So that would be the case. Now let's take the stages. The nurturing period, sorry, the nature's period is when you are born. Like I said, I gave the example. So you start, your parents are nurturing you, nurturing you, nurturing you until you become an independent person. This time around, you nurture yourself. And that, I would say, between the age of zero and age of, say, maximum, should it be? But to some people, maybe 30 years, 25 to 30 years is the period of independence in anybody's life. That is, this is the time you'll be thinking of being on your own. You're even tired of living with your parents and your parents are tired of feeding you and every every other thing that is being done. And you are now this is the period that your parents are responsible for your nurturing. They send you to school so that you can cater for yourself and do well in life. And they take you to God so that you know God and you make heaven and every other thing. If you respond positively, positively to these two your life is likely, most likely to be successful because God will give you guidance. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Sorry, very sorry. Someone is just making the noise outside the building. Now, if you go through the word of God and the word of God is passing through you, you, you are not likely to make mistakes in life because that Bible is written to guide you, to correct you, to rebook, to instruct, and then to teach you doctrine so that you will not miss your path in life and then you will be able to fulfill your destiny. Then education will expose you to opportunities in life. Education itself does not give you money. It is how you apply it later and time and chance favoring you. Just as Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 or so. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11. That says, you know, everything you do in this world is a matter of time and chance. It's not the, the more that you are educated. If time, time and chance does not favor you, you may not make it, you know, especially financially. And if you don't make it financially in this world, your life is ruined. And then that is why we continue to hammer that you should know your God and you should make sure that you don't toil with your education. Because it is after your education, you begin to pursue your career. And career is what is where you will generate income. And your career can come from maybe two sources. You can be an employer of your own through your own talent, the talents that the Lord has deposited in you. Example, the singers or the musicians that capitalize upon their um, talents and drummers and everybody that is. Or you can be uh, either self-employed, you, you start a business and you are making it from there. And then you can also be an employee, employee, where you work for an organization or somebody who is paying you. But above all, if you don't make money in this world, nature will not forgive you by the time you are 50 and above. I'll tell you more examples. I told you that between 60 and, and 63 was the period I experienced nature's harshest treatment. 
that I say I will ever receive. And I learned my lesson. I understand what nature is now. So, the period that either your parents are nurturing you and the period that you took over and are nurturing yourself, which is just for yourself, might be a period of like 25 years or maximum, say 30 years, your body will begin to tell you something. Because we are not better than ordinary trees that when they grow and they hit their peak or they get to the maximum they can leave, the leaves will start yellowing and they will be dropping. And at the end of the day, the branches will be cutting off and if the trees are not felled, fell, they will dry and they will go. That is what human beings do. Ah, you have a period of blossom a period of um, departure from this world and you must prepare particularly for the latter part of your life which is 50 years and above and if you don't it doesn't matter whether you are religious it doesn't matter whether you are not religious the same story let me give you the example when you are still strong, up to 50 years of age, you are nurturing your body with food, with all sorts of exercises and everything. But when you are 50 and above, your body will begin to tell you that, look, I'm getting tired, I'm getting tired. And it will be coming small, small, small. For the men, prostate we begin to manifest. In some people it does earlier, but to some people it may not manifest until uh, about 60. So, mine, for instance, started manifesting when I was about 50, 56, 57 and above was then, of course, we were just doing a random test, general test, and <clears throat> I saw an indication that the prostate was already there and was rearing its head. Thank God it is treatable. And to some people, if you didn't carry out that test, you won't know. It may have gone out of hand before you realize. So for men, prostate is a reality. Just as um, fibroid is more, more real in the lives of women. That not every woman have it, but they, some have it, but it's not in a serious way. Maybe some, so just as some men could live and do not have prostate till their dying age, they might even have live up to 120 years. And then, whereas some men, May just be 40 before, I mean, they start having it. But both ways, you can manage prostate. That's the good thing about it. Then your kidney may start complaining. Your liver may start complaining. Your vision may start getting blood. Let me comment here. I looked around me. I had a cousin. And... Today, she has lost, lost one of her eyes, managing the other one, and through cataract. And then I had another relative, male, within the same age circle, age bracket, Ditto. And then I just those of us who are 60 years and above, I found that many, majority, not everybody too, you know, body chemistry is not the same. Major, majorly, I found that everybody has eye problem, flurry eye. And incidentally, I too, I had my own. 
and I've been nurturing that. Thank God it is responding. And, and it is from this one I want to, us to draw uh, experiences from. Those of you who are younger, please take good care of your eyes. Mind what you eat. All these sugary, sugary, sugary things. All these uh, tantalizer. All these chicken, chicken republic. All these uh, fast foods. And all these um, food type of foods, the, the, the colas of this world. Even the fruits that we are eating. They should all be taken according to proper guidance. If not, you may find yourself in trouble in your old age. May be okay with you when you are still young, less than 50, but after 50, I tell you. And then, now, let's take the eye thing to manage your eyes. You know, I talked about the period of nurturing and maintenance. By the time you are 50 years and above, you need to be maintaining your health. You don't need more of the above the rise of every indeed if you eat it the way you are eating it before. You you may develop diabetes. You may develop of course hypertension. As a man, your prostate may rear its ugly head, your eyes may become blurry, then diabetes may be around the corner. That is why your lifestyle must change from 50 years of age. If not, nature does not forgive. Nature does not forgive. You will pay dearly for it. And the sad part of it is that you will need more money at this age bracket than you needed in the whole of your working life put together. And interestingly, that's the period you will be talking of preparing for your retirement age, if you have any plans at all. Do, I, do you know that 10 years is too small to plan for your retirement age? If only situation permits and we know what we are doing, retirement plans should begin from the very day you start your work. And how do you plan for your retirement age? Is it that you go and save so much money in a bank or whatever? If you put money in the bank, before you reach your retirement age, inflation would have eaten it up. The bank may have may even have gone down. Anything could happen to you, to your money at the bank. So the best thing is to look for investment that will help you in your old age. In those days, it was shares, share purchases, stock, whatever, that was rainy. If anybody, if Papa Desalu or um, Buffett, Warren, or what is his name now? Say Warren Buffett or whatever. If you ask them today that shares can ever collapse, they won't agree. The, the whole of Papa Desalu's life was lived on stocks and he made it to the point that he wrote a book on it. But if he's woken up from the dead today and say, shares has failed, he will be surprised. He won't even believe you. So if you are putting your money in shares or in stocks, you are wasting your money. Your money will be gone because the company will be dead. I invested in Abarca uh, airline. I invested in uh, many, many, I took 5 million Naira loan. And in fact, within a twinkle of five years, the one five million uh, shares, the organizations have gone down such that we have less than one million left. So then where is the place you can then put your money that you will not suffer? When you, you know what we are talking about is that something you can go and meet later that will be yielding returns to you. There are many, many opportunities, but all of them bearing their own risks. You want to go into production in any field, 
that since you want to be producing something, government policies will kill it. I went into farming thinking I can do that till my old age and I acquired, I was doing up to 30 hectares. That's 15 plus times 30 of land, zero. So going into commercial farming, if you put your money there, you are gone. Your money will be gone even before you get there. Then the next one is real estate. Yes, real estate is good. In Nigeria today, real estate seems to be, mark my word, seems to be the most reliable investment. But it depends on where you bought your land, from whom you bought your land, and or property, and so on and so forth. If you buy from the local, the locals, the local land sellers, well, unless you are able to really perfect your title and get the place secured such that presence is there always, even in spite of that, you'll be tried. The people might come back to trouble you, and that might be around the time you needed to now begin to have, uh, to rely on it as part of the source of generating funds for you. But if you buy from um, real estate organizations that are honest, again, that are transparent, that will deliver, yes. Because we've had people buy from real estate, so-called real estate organizations that actually duped the people. Then you now ask me, where is the resting, where is the reliable place? For real estate to me, is still, because the truth is that you see, as inflation is going up, the value of your land is going up. No matter where you buy them, all you need to wait for is wait until everybody purchases all the lands around it. Now you get to a reseller status. And when you start selling, reselling, it is you that will determine your price. That is the beauty of um real estate then if another real estate aspect that you can go into is the area of um, buying uh, already completed properties or even among from among the lands you purchase if it is close to where who can start living even paying little money build them you will meet them in the future they are all real estate those who are building hostels they are in real estate business just look around some schools that those things will be going up, rents will be going up, they won't go down. So that is not, it's not even the what we are looking for. We are not even talking much about the investment, but I'm just telling you because we say prepare for your old age. That's why I cited this example. There are other examples, you know, that you can do that can help you. It is you, no other person, that will find out and get it and make sure you are properly. Um, uh, prepared for your old age. Now, coming back to maintaining yourself. Maintaining yourself is more expensive than the period you were agile and you were you are spending, like, oh, you are paying school fees, so oh, heavy, heavy school fees, yeah, it's good, but <laughs> hey, those ones are still small and it's for a time. Maintenance is for the rest of your life. I don't, I have not had cataract, but I just have blurry eyes. An injection, one injection can cost you over a million naira now. Eye injection. If you don't have any backup, maybe from your organization or from anywhere or HMO or whatever. And another thing I will say is that, please, at this level of always, why not subscribe to HMO? You can do it privately. Ask for the HMOs. They will give you the, uh, the rates you will pay. Health insurance is very important. If you don't, and you wait until you are sick before you get there, <laughs> you better make inquiries. That's another investment you can make to guarantee your maintenance. And your maintenance is more of health related. The kind of food you eat, and then you have to, your maintenance is discipline in your old age. Stay away from food that becomes no-go areas. 
drinks that become no-go areas, alcohol and all that. And pre pre the various pre prescriptions that are made for you, maybe like anti-BP, anti-prostate and all that, that, you know, the rate at which they are being sold today, whether herbal or orthodox, very, very expensive. So you can see. And if you don't prepare for them when you are young, nature will not forgive you. You are going and painfully going because this thing may not kill you in VM in one day, but it will pepper you before you go. For you to be wise, for, sorry, for you not to experience that it's better you are wise today. Those of you who are religious, that they will say this thing. I rejected the doctor's report. The reality is out now that uh, doctor's report, you cannot reject it by verbalizing it. You must live a life that will make those reports irrelevant to your life. You must live a life that will make those reports irrelevant to your life. If you don't, and you think you have faith, you don't faith health, just like Dr. Um, Apoke will say, you don't faith health issues. They say you have fibro. You say, for God forbid, it will melt in Jesus' name. You are wasting your time. It will be growing until it kills you. You have prostate. Instead of you attending to it, they say, you say you faith it, nothing, this and that. And then you, it will kill you before your time. Your eyes are blurring and all of a sudden you are applying um, uh, Baba Lola Olomi, that is, you are applying uh, holy water. You will be blind, practically blind, blind before you realize it. And the more you delay it, the more quickly you get, you know, blinded. And then, um, what is even more? The worst thing that can happen to you is to come back and say it is your enemies that are undoing you. Nature is your friend from age zero to age 50. Nature in the period of maintenance is not your friend. Nature is not your friend. It will not forgive you for the errors of your past. The pains will come in form of arthritis, in form of rheumatism, and your bones will be getting weaker and weaker. You need to expensively nurture them to be able to live well till your dying day. Another area, like I always emphasize, please invest in your children. If they are well placed and they are merciful, they will help to prolong your life so that you live your life, the rest of your life in peace. So if you don't invest in your children because they are the first point of contact, then like I always say, invest in people generally. You never can tell those that God will use to help you to maintain your life. Some of them may become medical doctors that they can help you. Some of them may even be so merciful as to even take care of you in times of need. Some of them, even the word of counsel, that you are relating with people there. Invest in people so that you don't die a premature death. God will send these people one way or the other, and God can handle send people you never knew before in place of death. So, but if God sends the people that you have helped, it is the investment you made in them that God is using to maintain you now. And they, being, um, being a grateful element, they too, of course, is a prayer they are having for themselves. You know, Yoruba will say, be more uh, That is when the rabbit grows old and can no longer, and it has reached its own maintenance period, can no longer eat heavy food and not go around to fend for food for themselves. You know what is it? It is the meal from the children that it will be feeding on until it pies away. If we human beings have not killed and eaten them. So nature, nurture, and maintenance, very important in life. 
nurturing your future is when you are still working and you're able is to invest so much in so many things that will help you to make more money at the end of the day so that uh, you don't suffer in your old age. Nature, nurture, maintenance. Like remember also that maintenance is more expensive. You don't spend so much money on food, but you spend so much on medication, on tests. To do a protest test now is going to about 20,000, just one. I did protest tests in this 2024 alone five times. I think I've analyzed it in one of my videos. And I spend a lot of money maintaining it. Thanks to my children, thanks to all the people that the Lord has sent to me to be of help. Thanks for the, to, the, to God Almighty that I worked in a good organization also that supports me. I want to tell you, no matter how much your organization will support you, <laughs> it's never enough. I'm telling you. This month of November alone, I bought herbal drugs worth 358,000 Naira. Apart from the orthodox medication, apart from the tests, laboratory tests, this is what you will face in your old age. This is the only way you cannot, you will not suffer in your old age. You see me, I'm always ever flowing. It is the work of God. Some of the things I recommended for you I've done. But if I knew better, I would have done more. Invest. Prepare for your old age. I also invest in others by investing in businesses. But you see, life is blunt. It doesn't if you don't, if you are so afraid and then you are putting your money in the bank, your money is gone. Before you need them. The bank may go down. It is risky to put your money in the bank. You only put it there just pending what you will do with it. And don't let it lose value before you move it away and tie it down to something that is of value that you, you can sell later. They call it something of a sale value. Let your money not be in. I love one of my friends. She will say, I don't have uh she will say how does she put it she will say um, i don't have cash but i have assets let your money be in asset one danger that you could have in real estate let me warn you this my same friend invested so much in land and in choice areas unfortunately for her it turned out that government acquisition came to these places. If those places were not acquired by government today, she would have been a mortal billionaire, billionaire, if not a trillionaire. But unfortunately, all of a sudden, even with estates, did you not hear what happened at uh, Maryland and all these coastal areas that commanded the highest value and people invested there even as, a, as an organizations invested and people invested in them, trying to, uh, at that, you see, this is the reason you need prayers. Time and chance must be in your favor before you can get it. So life has no mercy, especially during your maintenance. So to sum everything up, please prepare for the maintenance period of your life by investing so that when the day, like the Bible puts, the day of evil comes, you'll be able to respond as appropriate. Don't take things for granted and then pray along that the 
whatever you have will be able to maintain you till old age. May God Almighty attend to us all. This is what I can share with you as your friend. Thank you very much and please share it with others. I am your friend again, Pastor Yemi Omogboyega. Bye for now.